My method of learning English, and I'm a native speaker, so that is an advantage in itself because just me talking, you will hear good English. But uh, the method is that during the week, you listen to, study English. Mostly it's listening to English. If you can speak English, and I will show you how you can listen and speak. So I made this video to show you several methods by which you can speak and listen to English. I have given you different sources, so you can go there and uh, determine the ones that you want to listen to. So listen to this video, because you need to do the work. I can't do it for you. If you want to diet, you wouldn't ask me to diet and not eat certain foods when you wanted to lose the weight. So that's an example I, I thought of. Okay, so you do the work and look at this video. Popular myth has a tendency to focus on what the men of the West were, leaving the impression that women were just their servants. No doubt, when the first wagon trains left, some women were reluctant to leave their comfortable homes for the almost certain hardships of the trail. But undoubtedly, the same was true for some men. The reality was, it didn't take long for Western fever to infect everyone with the same lust for adventure and freedom. My husband was fired with patriotism and I was possessed with a spirit of adventure and a desire to see what was new and strange. We had become... Yeah, I'm going to show you on this video, which I have got on YouTube. It's a, it's a very good little video. As you can see, we have the closed caption. You can see here the closed caption. And uh, I can keep this from coming down. You know, here's closed caption. Okay, I need to move over a little bit on this video. So let me let me pause it here. This keeps jumping up. And anyhow, let me pause it here and let me uh, bring it over because I'm I'm going to show you the bottom line and what you can do. Well, that's Almost anywhere. Miriam Thompson Tuller emigrated to Oregon, 1845. The women in the West uh, were just like the men, entrepreneurial, courageous, bold, adventurous, intelligent. The West really selected and filtered people. The women had to be all those things the men were in spades because they were doing all the same things the men were doing. Okay, what I'm doing here, um, I, I hope this is going to be okay. You can see you have the play button. Okay. And over here, you have the closed caption, which I've clicked on here, and I get the, the uh, subtitles. And over here is a, another setting. It's called settings. And if you click on that, you can come up here and it says normal. You can adjust the speed. Now, if the you can't understand what's being said in the normal speed, you can click it down and let me show you what that is like. And lacking the same degree of physical prowess uh, that the men had. And the women in the West were the very uh, best that America had to offer. In an era when the ideal notion for womanhood was all ruffles and domesticity, the migration West created challenging new roles for women that only the courageous dared. Now, I'll go well. You're going to have to, all this flashing up and down. I don't, I can't do much about that.
because I'm trying to show you this. Uh, as you can see, you have two different size. This is full screen. This is what I have right now. I've gone out beyond the limit of the real video. The other thing I want to show you is here, and let me start it up again, and then I can show you that feature. Dared to film. While writers and artists were romanticizing. Only the courageous dared to film while writers and artists were romanticizing. The West is a man's frontier. Pioneer women were busy. The West was a man's frontier. Pioneer women were busy. Now, what I'm doing is this. I'm showing you that you can use this as a form of practicing speaking English by letting it play, hit the pause button, say what is there, say you know, whatever they had said like they said it. Just you can keep doing that. These are features that you can do uh, with YouTube, uh, videos, documentaries, or whatever. So I just wanted to briefly show you that as another alternative in studying at home by yourself, because as I said before, you got to do the work. This is an example of sleep learning. Now, there's a lot of research that's been done on passive or unconscious learning. And essentially, it's still in debate. Uh, some people think that it, it works. They've tried this in classrooms where they uh, have had some people, uh, a class, uh, concentrate on music Why in the background they gave the lesson. Now I've done some subliminal, which subliminal is about the same but a little bit different in that uh, you uh, music or something else like that, but in the background where we, you don't hear it, it's subliminal, very low. They play a lesson or they uh, use some form of therapy and it affects you. Well, I believe that has worked for me. So anyhow, let's take a listen to what they have to present in this one. In this pre-intermediate English video, we use advanced binaural beats to help you improve your English vocabulary. This video features 100 pre-intermediate English words. The word is said once, then the meaning, followed by an example of the word used in the correct context. Listen to this as you go to sleep and leave on whilst you sleep for greatest effects. We use three different binaural beats in this video. The first one enhances your learning ability. The second initiates sleep learning. And the third improves memory. Adversary, someone who offers opposition. The students are united by shared suffering and by a common adversary. A plum, great coolness and composure under strain. I wish I had handled it with a plum. Apprehensive, in fear or dread of possible evil or harm. Virga still feels apprehensive when visiting an unfamiliar zoo. Aptitude, inherent ability. I was recently asked in an interview what was more valued by companies, aptitude or attitude. Attentive, taking heed, send away from a place. So I will send you a link or I'll put the link down here below uh, this video. And you can click and go to this one particular one. There are others and I don't know if one is better than the other, but it's a way of learning. As we said, you know, you don't have the time? Well, you gotta sleep, so learn while you sleep, okay? This video goes on for three hours, so the three hours of listening to this, maybe repeatedly uh, in your sleep, I'm sure will have some type of effect on you.